The day begins with a two and a half kilometer walk on the busy streets of the nation's capital of Abuja. This walk by these advocates is simply to raise voices to champion the eradication of malaria in the country. The walk ends up at the conference put together for government agencies and partners to deliberate on the way forward towards ending this disease through adequate funding. PMI has contributed $768 million to date and $74 million just in 2022. In line with the fifth objective of the National Malaria Strategic Plan, which seeks to improve funding for malaria control by 25% through predictable and innovative sources. The high burden to high impact approach to of rethinking malaria provided, provided the right impetus for the current malaria strategic plan toward using certified evidence-based approach and information and drive impact. Advocates in the fight to end malaria believe that more needs to be done through improving on the gains made and domestic resource funding mobilization. Most of the tools that we need to be able to adequately control and eliminate malaria, we have them. The domestic resource funding that we need to be able to get more commitment, more commitment funding commitment for malaria control in Nigeria. And we have different interventions we are rolling out. Distribution of nets, insecticide treated bed nets, through mass distribution campaign to all the states, uh, and also through routine channels like the antenatal care and the immunization clinics to those two vulnerable groups, children under five and pregnant women. The World Health Organization is using this year's theme to highlight the critical role of innovation in the fight against malaria. The ultimate goal is to save millions of lives and world health bodies are seeking for more political will and commitment in order to avert the 95% of cases that come up within the African region. Kemi Balogun, TVC News, Abuja.